ASA Radio. Welcome to ASA Radio Madagascar. Hi, welcome to the Question Corner. I'm Jasmine. Our question today is from Anonymous. Dear Question Corner, I don't have a problem of my own, but I'd like you to help my friend. You see, he's kind of a nerd at this school. As a matter of fact, he's the biggest nerd here, but he's still my friend. Anyway, the problem is that he keeps getting bullied by the cool kids. They treat him so horribly, and I'd like to do something for him that wouldn't involve me getting bullied too. Just the other day, they locked him in a locker. Can you imagine that? And the poor guy is claustrophobic. When we finally unlocked him, he had wet his pants. I couldn't even imagine the white-hot shame he must have felt. We had to take him home, and he wasn't in a normal state. I really need your help. Anonymous. P.S. I'm the nerd. There's no helpful friend. Dear Anonymous, I just want to say that I understand your pain. Now what you need to do is be confident in who you are. This confidence will confuse your bully. See, bullies thrive on the fear they give you and the attention they get from it. Next time you get bullied, just show them that you're not afraid. The bullying won't stop immediately, but it will end in time. Showing confidence also will help you not to be a victim ever again. I really hope all goes well for you. The Question Corner. Stay up to date with news, advice, music, and more on ASA Radio. Greetings, listeners. This is Awesome Answers with Chloe. Today, our question is from Feeling Guilty in Anchorage, Alaska. Last week, I had a huge biology final, and normally I would have done fine, but I just had to watch Hannah Montana, so I didn't study for my test. I needed a good grade, so I wrote the answers on my hand before the test. Yes, I cheated, and my teacher caught me. I said I was sorry, but she still doesn't trust me. She moved me up front and watches me constantly. How do I let her know if she can trust me? Dear Feeling Guilty, if you want to show that your teacher that you are trustworthy, prove it to her. Work hard and get good grades. Participate in class and show her that you actually care about being a good student in her class. Eventually, your teacher will realize that, she made, that you made a mistake and you're trying to make things right. She might even let you move back to your old seat. Stay positive. Awesome answers. The American School Radio. This is 911 Helpline. What is your emergency? Hi. My name is Presley and I need your help. Every single guy in my school wants to go out with me. They can't stop asking me for a date. I'm tired of them. Do you please have an advice for me? Dear Presley, I have the perfect solution for your problem. But first, you must understand one thing. Guys are not the brightest. They tend to be drawn towards your physical appeal and ignore everything else. So this little flaw creates the perfect solution for your problem. Change your image. Start with your hair. Instead of the sophisticated, classy hairstyle I'm assuming you have, wear an old-fashioned bonnet. This look will almost kill all the possibilities of looking pretty, so hopefully that'll push them away. Next, start working on the face. Some old-fashioned glasses and a set of fake sideburns should do the trick. If those boneheads still don't get it, desperate times call for desperate measures. Stop showering and smell as funky as possible. Not only will they stop asking you out, but they'll keep a safe 50 meters from you. I don't know of one person who has followed these steps and still managed to get a date within 20 years. Quite a plan, eh? Hope this helped. This is the responder with MIC on ASA Radio. And our first question is from Birdland. Hi, this is Birdland. My boyfriend wants me to try drugs. Should I or should I not? Looks like you've gotten yourself in a big dilemma there, Birdland. The introduction to drugs in your life. Many parents will say to not do that because it breaks your life apart. But as a radio talker, I'm only going to be frank with you. I don't mean to harm you, but the choice is yours. If you love your boyfriend and your boyfriend loves you, why would you put you in such a risk, knowing that it can destroy you and change you? As I will recall you a famous quote from Dr. Seuss, do what you want because those who care don't matter and those who matter don't care. <laughs> Hello, this is Lady Y providing the answers. Here we go with our first problem. 
Dear Lady Y, I have a problem that I need some help with. I have an amazing boyfriend and a very loving family, but I recently found out that my parents hate my boyfriend. Why? I can't stand not agreeing with my family about something like this, but breaking up with my boyfriend is not an option. We're too in love. I don't know how to make them both happy. Help! Pulled in both ways. Dear Pulled Both Ways, if you truly love both your family and your boyfriend, then I would advise you to sit with your family and talk about it. Ask them what in particular bothers them about your boyfriend. You could also tell your family your true feel feelings and how much you, your boyfriend counts for you. Don't forget to add that you care for both your family and boyfriend equally. Lady Y. Hello there. Welcome to Super Duper Loli with Eileen. Our first problem comes from NMS. Hey, Super Duper Loli, I need your help. I accidentally sent my dad a flirty text. Instead of sending the text to my boyfriend, Dave, I sent it to dad. I really don't know what to say. Please help me, NMS. Dear NMS, your situation is not as bad as you think it is. If you were raised in a free, open-minded family, then you could just tell your father that it was for a friend and it was only a joke. However, if your father is very conservative, then the act of lying must come forth. Say your friend stole your phone and played a prank on you. Sincerely, Super Dopa Loli. Hi there, and welcome to Been There, Done That with Lydia Span, providing easy answers to your hard questions. Our first problem is from embarrassing stomach. Hi, dear been there done that. When I woke up this morning, I already had stomach problems. As I walked to school, I was drinking coffee. The problem is that I had no idea they had added vanilla in the coffee. And as I am allergic to that, I felt my stomach shaking all of a sudden. I ran into the first bathroom I saw at school and did my business. As I walked out, hoping no one would walk in as I was walking out, my crush walks right in and runs right out, and while this is happening, his eyes are fixed on me, and one word comes out from his mouth. Gross! I am so embarrassed. What should I do now? Dear embarrassing stomach, I'm sorry to hear about what happened. It sounds like something that could have happened to me when I was in high school, except in my case, it involved a little more than an upset stomach. Anyway, the first thing you need to realize is that these kinds of things happen to everyone. You will move on and bigger things will happen in your life. Now that this embarrassing thing took place, your best bet for recovery is to be confident. If your crush is too immature to realize that he really made you feel bad, then he probably isn't worth your time anyway. If you can both laugh it off, destiny is probably pushing you together and surely things will work out. So laugh it off, be confident, and don't make a habit of it, and it will surely be old news in no time. Take it from been there, done that. Even the most embarrassing situation can become your favorite joke a few years later. You're back with Sharon presenting Glittering Love on 108.0 FM radio. The first question is from Winnie the Pooh. It reads, I secretly love a girl and want to invite her to the dance, but every time I'm next to her, I sweat a lot. How can I reveal her my feelings? Well, Winnie, it's not a big deal. You can just start to talk to her by being more attentive to her wantings and being nice to her or ask her help for homework. To remediate to your perspiration problem, there are special deodorants that can control your body sweat. Good luck. That was Sharon with the Glitter Ring Love. Have a nice day, everyone. And don't forget to wear a coat. Hi, this is Silver Words with Tessie. Our first question is from Alicia. Dear Silver Words, my friends and I recently discovered the reason why I always sneeze. I am allergic to school. My days are spent sneezing in every class, whatever math, English, or PE, I sneeze. But when I'm home, my allergies stop. What shall I do? Alicia. I have one very easy answer to what you think is a problem. Sneezing whenever you're at school is very common nowadays, and to all people attending school who occur to have the same kind of nose irritation, open up your ears because here comes my simple response. Do not attend school anymore. Your parents will probably not appreciate what I just said, tell you I'm crazy, never allow you to listen to my radio station anymore, and of course, ask a doctor's advice. Tell them, no, it will be a waste of money. No offense, doctors, but that's the truth. 
well, most of the times. They give you prescriptions and medicine, and the medicines might work for a while, but soon they have no effect. So let's not complicate life. You guys will continue sneezing as long as you attend school. So please do as I say, don't go to school anymore. That's what I'm here for, giving advices. Hi, this is Stairphobic. I have a serious problem. I do not know how to go up the stairs. Every second step, I trip. I was advised to take the elevator, but I recently discovered that I can't bear the fact of being in an elevator. Dear Stairphobic, you always trip when you go up the stairs. You can't bear the fit of being in an elevator, right? So there are the solutions. Next time, when you'll need to t use the stairs, ask someone to leave too. If they don't want to, beg them. You can also learn to climb, try to become the Spider-Man number two, and you can also try to fly. Uh, I have never tried that one. Thanks for listening to Blue Sky with Valentine. ASA